How awesome is that to have a state ranked team? Watch, I got my all my powers right in there. In accordance with the county health department and Fremont Community Schools guidelines, masks are required to be worn at all times. We ask that immediately following the conclusion of this game, everyone exit the facility. Your cooperation is appreciated. At this time, we would ask that everyone please stand as we honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Fantastic rendition of the National Anthem by, my, by the Let's Fremont see. Philharmonic Let's Orchestra. See. Drew Kiespert here at the Central Noble. Central Noble Fremont game. Here's the starting lineups. Number four, Ryan Schroeder. Number 10, Number 10, Connor Asijian. Number 12, Jackson Andrews. Number 22, Sawyer Yoder. And number 44, Logan Guard. That's the number four team in the state. Central Noble 17 and one coming into tonight's game here. A huge NECC date. Our Fremont Eagles are poised to get the upset inside the steel cage, winning four in a row. So here are your Fremont Eagles. Number 35, sophomore Ethan Bontrager. Number 11, correction, number 13, a junior, Ethan Bach. Number 13, junior, Ethan Bach. Number 33, a junior, Logan Brace. Number 33, junior, Logan Brace. Number 43, a junior, Gable Pentecost. Number 43, junior, Gable the Pentecost. Junior, number 5, Cameron Cole. And Cameron Cole Clazier, number five, the senior of this starting five tonight. And we're about ready to jump around 
for tonight's NECC contest. As we said a moment ago, Central Noble 17-1, their only loss in the year very early in the season against West Westview. Uh, certainly a very capable team. Fremont, however, even though they are uh, have struggled earlier in the year, they've won four in a row. And if they can make five in a row, it will be the upset special of the week inside the steel cage here at Fremont. Really thank thanks uh, for everyone tuning in here tonight for tonight's ball game here as our Eagles face off against Central Noble. And the Cougars will have it to start off here. Bringing it up the floor is Andrews. Over to Yoder. Drives. Takes the shot. Switches hands. Takes the shot. And Fremont ends up with the rebound after a little confusion there. Bringing it up the floor is Pentecost. It's going to drive. Takes a shot. And a big block by Logan Guard. The 6 7 center. And now a three on the other side for a Siegen. And it is three to zero right away. For three on the other side is Ethan Bach. Tit for that tat there on that opening salvo. Seven to 10 left in the first quarter, three all here. Almost an errant pass there by a Siegen. Andrews feeds it over to Schroeder. Now a three try from Asijan, and he's good from three. Pentecost. Cole Klazier back to Cole Klazier now. Pentecost looking for the signal, saying what's going on, what's up. Bontrager and then back to Pentecost. Logan Brace feeds it in. Now a drive by Bach and another big block and they're gonna call a foul on guard. That big center is part of the reason why this team is 17 and one and number four in the state in 2A. An early foul with 624 left in the first quarter. Tonight's broad game brought to you by Eagle One Stop, Pizza Subway, Chicken or Eagle Bites. Give them a call, 495-3110. Shot is up and good for Brace. Oops. There we go. Hit the right button. That would help. And another big three for a season. And that's his third. He has all nine of Central Noble's points. All from three-point land. Bringing up the floor is Andrews here with six minutes even left in the first quarter. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And guard with the sky hook a la Kareem Abdul-Jabbar but doesn't fall. Cole Clazier, tight D by Andrews. Caught in a little trouble, gets out of it. Bach, feed, going for three from Bontrager, and buckets three. with three Zs. Nine to seven. And Fremont looking to give Central Noble a run for their money early on here with 5.15 left in the first quarter. And three try again from the far side is Andrews this time. Three by Andrews. Certainly the long range is uh, <laughs> really helping Central Noble here scoring wise. And a three try a Bach. No good, rebound by guard. Brought, bringing it up here is Andrews. 445 left in the first quarter. Big three try, whoa, from way downtown, Sawyer Yoder. Three by Yoder. Good gracious. 15 points all from three point land. Three threes by Asesian. One from Andrews and one from Yoder thus far. Early in the contest, 15-7. And another three. And finally a miss. And Fremont with an opportunity 
here to try to get that eight point lead back down to six, maybe five. Pentecost in some trouble, in some traffic. Gets it over to Bontrager, over to Cole Clazier. He's going to drive. And they're going to call a foul. I guess they're calling an elbow on Andrews. So Andrews will go and have a seat on the bench as number 15, Connor Lemon. A sophomore steps in. Way far out. Again, 15-7. Nice try there by Bach, but tries to torque his body around and get that ball to fall. Just wouldn't happen. 3.45 left. Fremont gets the ball back, and Bach is going to bring bringing it up the floor. Von Traeger back to Bach. 15-7, three and a half minutes left in the opening quarter. Cole Clazier trying to get a call. The official, he's not going to get it. Tries to take another shot and falls short again. Cole Clazier looking to possibly pick the pocket. The all-time Fremont Steels leader. And, ooh, no walk called. Little stutter step from guard. And the first two-point bucket of the night for Central Noble. And it is 17-7 in favor of the number four team in all the land. DQ Krill and Chill, get your coupon at... Fremont Eagles dot nothing but net. That will save you 10%. But when we get the upset of epic proportions, that coupon will be 20%. You can get it only at Fremont Eagles dot nothing but net. Travis Williamson, Realtor, 316-5564. This Fremont grad knows Lake Country Realty. Whether you're selling or buying in particular, if you're in the market for a lake home, you've got to give him a call. He will hook you up, especially. Now, you're looking at the, I know, folks, you're looking at the weather right now. You're looking at the foot of snow on the ground. Trust me, right around the corner, just a few weeks away, it's going to be lake season. And Why don't you get that new home right on the lake, get that new boat sitting right out front to match? Why not? Why not? In whatever color you want, I know Travis Williamson can take care of you. You just let him know, and he will take care of the house side of that thing. Lonsbury Garage, Stephen Carroll and John Kaufman offer quality service at a low, low price, 665-5165. That's Lonsbury Garage. 17-7. Want to just remind folks, if you make your comments on our Fremont Eagles Network page during this game, we'll post them up on the broadcast. So just make your comments below here. And also don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the action. And a shot is up and good for Asesian. He now has 11 points. Rebound by Central Noble. Drive in traffic, steal. Cole Clazier thinking about, do I want to set it up? Do I want to try to get it down low? And he tries to get it down to Pentecost and now bring it back up the top and right in the face of Yoder, not, not on the mark. And it will be off Fremont. GW's Butcher Block, 517-278-278. Seven beef, pork, chicken, brats, and more. That's GW's Butcher Block right uptown, folks. Load up the freezer at GW's Butcher Block. 19-7, 210 left in the first quarter. Shot is up, no good. And then we've got a foul. It's going to be a an offensive foul and a push. And that is on guard. That is his second. And the big center, which gives them a heck of an advantage, is going to have to have a seat here, most likely for the remainder of the quarter, two minutes and three seconds. You definitely don't want him in foul trouble, especially if Fremont can start to squeeze the score back close. 19 7, 155 left. Cole Clazier almost got his pocket picked. Feeds it over to Pentecost in traffic, drives, takes the shot, rimming no, rebound by Schroeder. And a nice feed and a bucket for Noah Christopher off the bench. 21-7 now. One and a half minutes left to go in the opening quarter. And we're going to have on, it'll be on the floor, no shot. 
and J alternators and starters. Coach Reitz has you covered. Whether you need alternator or starter rebuilding or repair, self-storage, or U-Haul rental, give them a call, 495-1655. The best in the biz. In fact, that reminds me, he's sitting right here tonight, folks, man in the camera, Coach Reitz, and his lovely bride as well. <laughs> Pentecost the drive, no call. Takes a shot off the glass and in. 21 to nine. 50 seconds left. Baseline drive, runs into a brick wall, has to get that ball out. And a nice move there for Connor Lemon. And it's now 23-9. Almost an errant pass. Bach is able to secure it, though. A little bit of pressure. 30 seconds left. Nice feed. Brace takes it off the glass. No good. No one touches him. And almost a steal by Pentecost. And then almost a steal by, oh, by Brace, who hits hard into the bleachers. And a little Euro step action there from Nasesian who puts the biscuit in the basket. 10 seconds left. Pentecost for three. 25-12. And for three at the buzzer is Noah Christopher. And holy smokes, 28 points for the number four team. What a fantastic output of offense here inside the steel cage tonight for Central Noble. Fremont definitely has their work cut out for them as we get ready to head into the second quarter. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity. A Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride, 495-2915. And Fremont Chiropractic, it's your $21 initial consultation and adjustment. That's right, all for just 21 bucks out the door. You can stop by and see them on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Saturdays. Make your appointment now, 260-527-0370. I want to remind everyone that you can like and subscribe to get and be a part of every broadcast so you don't miss anything. So check it out. I want to also let you know, too, that you can watch the Fremont Eagles Network on your television set. If you have a Roku box or an Amazon Fire Stick or an Apple TV or some other devices, you can download the YouTube app and then you can watch games right there on your television set. If you're doing that, let us know in the comments below. Are you watching on the television tonight? And let us know wherever. You're watching on your tablet, your phone, whatever it is. We'd love to know. And we certainly also want to let you know, too, folks, that if you share your comments below on the screen, we will share them live during our broadcast. So you want to make sure that you do that. Give the encouragement to your team, whether it's Fremont or Central Noble. We, got, you know, we have a lot of Central Noble fans out there watching the broadcast tonight as well. So we have started the second quarter in earnest. It is 28-12. to 12. And uh, certainly the player of the quarter was Connor Asesian with, uh, let's see, 9, 11, 13 of the 28 points for the number four team in all the land. Bach with the shot. And now in transition, feed down low. Ooh, little shoulder, no call. Another three try. This one off the mark. And a rebound from Pentecost there. So your Yoder missed that one. Drive from Bontrager. And got a piece of it. And then, nice job as Pentecost is able to put the biscuit in the basket. Christopher feeds it over to Schrader, Schroeder or Schrader. I've heard it both ways pronounced. So my apologies if I kind of go back and forth between the two. Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's Subway, Pizza, Chicken, or Eagle Bites, give them a call, 495-3110. 6.54 left in the first half, 28-16. Drive baseline, and a, what a pass all the way across court. No good, though, from Yoder, but they get the rebound. Christopher, and there's going to be a foul called on Brace coming up. 
DQ Grill and Chill. Get your coupon at FremontEagles.NothingButNet. Saves you 10%, but when we win, that coupon doubles to 20%. You can only use it if it's printed and only use it at the DQ Grill and Chill on North Main, North Wayne, excuse me, in Angola. Call ahead and order your, your uh, get that cake that is the uh, hot fudge cake at DQ Grill and Chill, 319-4436. Just watch out for your cord there. Basket by Andrew. And a basket there. And we're going to have Pentecost here. Drive and bucket. Basket by Pentecost. And 30 to 18 here as Fremont's keeping it close so far. Certainly Central Noble with the offensive burst in the first quarter has really had the best opportunity here to get the W thus far, but Fremont can just keep chipping away. That would be awesome. And nice little kiss there by Sawyer Yoder. 32-18 with five and a half left. Bontrager give over to Bach, who takes the three shot and good. Triple Bach, 32-21. Oh, pickpocket, Cole Clazier, bucket. And suddenly it's a single digit lead only for Central Noble. Fremont feeling a little bit of energy here in the second quarter with five minutes and four seconds left. Drive, and a, and a travel there by a season. 4.59 left, and Fremont giving the Cougars a little bit of a tough time here in the second quarter. 32-23. Appreciate everybody tuning in here. Travis Williamson Realtor, 316-5564. This Fremont grad knows Lake Country Realty and Lonsbury Garage offers quality service at a low price, 665-5165. Cole Clazier thought about it for a minute, gets over to Bach. And, ooh, Cole Clazier with great job to secure it there. Bontrager from the corner, no good. Rebound from Asesian. Errant pass, and that's going to be off the line, and Fremont will have the ball. Again, Fremont down by nine with 432 left. GW's Butcher Block, whether it's beef, beef, pork, chicken, brats, fish, seafood, sauces, snacks, sticks, jerky, they got it. GW's Butcher Block on Toledo Street in Fremont, 517-278-278-7. Brace with the bucket. The lead is only seven. Andrews. Going to drive here, gives it back over to Schroeder, back over to Asesian. Another three try off the mark. Rare miss by Asesian here. He's been pretty much money from three-point land here tonight. 352 left, Cole Clazier trying to get through. A lot of shoulder check in there. Fort Wayne Comets need to sign Cole Clazier maybe. And we got ourselves a walk by Sawyer Yoder. And the coach says, we got to talk about this. Fremont absolutely getting in the heads of the Central Noble squad right now. Seven point lead for the Cougars as Fremont has chipped away, chipped away, chipped away to keep this back with 340 left before halftime. a and alternators and starters, 495-1655. Whether you need alternator starter rebuilding, self-storage, or U-Haul rental, give them a call at 495-1655. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity, a Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride. Give them a call at 495-2915. And Fremont Chiropractic, $21, $21 for their first consultation and adjustment. You want to make sure you check that out, 260 527 0370 
21 bucks. That's a good deal, folks, for your first consultation and adjustment. That's total. That's not each, folks. And that's also on Toledo Street right in Fremont. And they're open Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Give them a call. 260-527-0370 to make your appointment now. 340 before halftime. Once again, folks, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you are all into what's going on here with all the Fremont action. In fact, coming up Monday, our Fremont Eagles are going to be hosting Smith Academy at 6 p.m. You want to tune in for that. That's JV at 6 and Varsity after that. And then the Senior Night Wednesday, folks, as Adam Central comes to town inside the steel cage against Fremont JV again at 6 and Varsity approximately 7.30 thereafter. 32-25. Drive. Oh, and a little. Oh, no. Nice job. Oh, huge block. Nice feed. And what a great scenario there. Back and forth, back and forth. The lead is only five. 32 27. This may be the best quarter of Fremont basketball this season and comes at a perfect time against the number four team in the state. 257 left before halftime. Three try is up, no good. And Brace comes in with the rebound against the big dog. Logan Guard, the 6 7 center. Thought about it. Cole Clazier is trying to figure out where to go. He's going to go to Pentecost off the mark and rebounded by Schrader. 228 and way off the mark. Fremont only down by five with 227 left before, before halftime. 32-27. Pentecost is going to feed it over to Logan Brace. It's going to get it to Cole Clazier. And a bucket. That lead is only three. Cole Clazier playing tight D here on Andrews. Two minutes left. Nice shot. No off the mark, I should say. And then nice feed and a bucket there. Basket by Schroeder. Central Noble up by five again, 140 to go. Fremont definitely a worthy adversary here with 90, 94 seconds left in the half. Cole Clazier over to Bontrager, over to Pentecost. Drive, shot, no good, off the mark. Rebounded by Asesian. And a nice breakaway bucket for Andrews. 36-29 now with one minute and 10 seconds left. And they're gonna call a block. And that block call was on Andrews. Or was that on Asesian? They're gonna have a little discussion at the half mark. There's gonna be a discussion here. Okay, so the zebras are discussing here. And the call is... They're gonna call a charge. So, not really sure what's happening here. People are trying to figure out what the call is. The Zebras are still discussing here. There is 1.11 left until halftime. Still discussing here. All right, so that ball is going to be underneath. So they finally decided offensive foul. an offensive foul against Bontrager. Okay, after all that was settled. Foul blocking on 
So they're going to call a double foul. All right. And so, so now it's going to be Fremont ball or... Jump ball. And so it'll be a jump ball and a red possession there. Okay, that's the call from the official bench. Tell you what, when the lead gets close, the Central Noble crowd gets chippy. I don't think they're used to having the ball games get this close. I think they thought they were going to walk into Fremont and come away with a huge win, and Fremont is saying, no, 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 we're a worthy adversary, and you're going to have to acknowledge that. And there's going to be a foul, and they're going to call that on... On. They're calling that on Brace somehow. All right. Foul was on Brace. 57.6 seconds left before halftime. A series of calls by the Zebras. A suspect going either way here. And Brace is going to have a seat as into the game comes Caleb Gannon. 6'4", senior. 36-29. Feed out, that is Christopher back over here to Yoder. And a three right in the face. And rebound. And another big three try off the mark. And Central Noble just out hustling and out rebounding Fremont right now. That lead back up to nine with 30 seconds left before halftime. The drive from Pentecost. In traffic, can't get it to fall. And that's going to hurt their opportunities here as we go down to the last 15 seconds as Central Noble is going to try to get the last shot and possibly an 11 or a 12 point lead before we come back from the break. Drive, stutter step, big three try off the mark and a push and there is a foul. They're going to call a foul on... Christopher, who absolutely decleated the Fremont player. And that's going to give Fremont an opportunity here. So what's the call going to be there? They're going to call the foul, but they're also calling the half. So it was right at the double zeros, and there's going to be no foul shots. So that will be halftime as Fremont trails Central Noble 38-29, Fremont uh, is certainly a worthy, and a worthy adversary here, and Central Noble is going to have to stay on their game if they're going to keep Fremont at bay. So we appreciate everyone. And we're going to take a break as the 7th and 8th grade boys basketball teams are honored. We'll keep it right here. Number two was Jake Elbers. Three was Charlie Senegal. Number four was Devlin Smith. Number five was Ashton Elder. Number 10, Jude Dornbush. Number 11, Ryan Baker. Number 12, Xander Reitz. Number 14, Tyler Miller. Number 20, Sean Fansler. Number 31, Gage Miller. Number 33, Carmine Marino. Number 35, Jake Jelinski. Number 44, Brayton Moss. And number 99, the coach, Shay Ronhouse. And now, the eighth grade team. The eighth grade lost the first game and lost the second game. Won every game in between. This brought the team to the championship game of the NECC tournament. 21 was Avery McIntoffer. Number 23 was Colton Guthrie. 24 was Caden 
Upnago. 25 was Brandon Kirkland. Number 30 was Bryce Arden. Number 32 was Devin Bloom. Number 34, Connor Shero. Number 40, Ethan Grimm. 41, Luke Durham. 42, Trevor Reitz. 50, Jackson Foster. And number 51, Brad Burton. The Eagles were coached by Paul Allison and Gary Baker. Congratulations, future Varsity Eagles. And we're going to go off to halftime here. We'll have audio silence for half, and we'll be back in a few moments.
Let's meet the cheerleaders for tonight. Hank Dornbush, Reagan Klein, Lauren Tiefel, Alexan Gingler, Autumn Chalinski, Lana Banks, Cindy Chris, Melissa Gutierrez, Gutierrez, JC Squires, Tanya Sharma, Tanya Sharma, Reina Rodriguez, Kayla McCullough. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate all our cheer squad. Fremont Eagle cheerleaders undefeated in conference play, undefeated in regular season play, undefeated in playoff play, undefeated of all time, ladies and gentlemen, the Fremont Eagle cheerleaders. We are now in the second half of our ball game. Didn't hear a whole lot from the Central Noble fans until Fremont got the lead down to about seven and five and three, and suddenly they started getting a little antsy. But the lead back up to nine as neither side able to score on their opening possessions either side. But Fremont's got the ball now with an opportunity to cut the lead down to seven again. Cole Clazier trying to find someone to pass to. Gets it over to Bach. Back to Cole Clazier. He's going to take a three from the corner. Bucket. 38-32 now. A six-point lead against... Excuse me, trailing only by six points against the number four team in Indiana, Central Noble Cougars. Seven minutes even left in the third quarter. And a nice shot as a Siegen gets another bucket. And let's see, that gives a Siegen 17 points. Almost half of Central Noble's points. And the putback for Schroeder. 42-32. Fremont needs to settle down a little bit. Get back to the way they played in the third quarter. Big three right there. That's a great way to do it. Ethan Bontrager from the corner. The lead is only seven once again. 6-15 left in the third quarter here. Whoa, way out there. No good. Rebound from Pentecost. Probably an ill-advised shot there from beyond what would be even an NBA arc. Nice try for the steal there by Asesian. And Pentecost for three from the corner. No good, but there's Brace right there with the rebound against the big man, and it's going to be a jump ball after the block and hold there. And it will be Central Noble ball. GW's Butcher Block, whether it's beef, pork, chicken, brats, seafood, sauces, stack sticks, or jerky, give them a call, 517-278-278. Seven, that's right, in Toledo Street in Fremont. Stock up that freezer, folks. Stock up that freezer. That's GW's Butcher Block. Five and a half left. Looks like it lost it. Got a little trouble there, and another offensive rebound. Certainly been the Achilles heel, Achilles heel of Fremont here against this Cougar squad. Second chance shots. And we're going to have a block on the play. They're going to call a block on Pentecost. Fouls on Pentecost is first. Eagle one stop. Whether it's Pizza Subway, Chicken, or Eagle Bites, give them a call, 495-3110, your pregame and postgame headquarters. DQ Grill and Chill, 319-4436. Get your coupon at FremontEagles.NothingButNet. 43-35. Cole Clazier with that stunning hair helmet. He's going to draw a block. Foul on Jackson Andrews. Foul was on Andrews, his second. 45-35. There we go. Got to get the score adjusted there. Feed to Brace. Bach thought about it. Over to Cole Clazier. Yeah. 
Nice feed. Bontrager loses control a little bit. And a block. And a rebound there by Central Noble. The lead is back to 10. A chance to extend. Almost an errant pass. Fade away off the mark. But again, another offensive rebound. And good box out by Schrader to put himself in a position to score that again. And with it. Oh, it's a timeout. Okay. I thought it was a foul there. All right. 47-35 here in the third quarter. 4.08 left. And Fremont will have the ball at roughly half court there. DQ Grill and Chill. Get your coupon at FremontEagles.NothingButNet. 319-4436. Travis Williamson, Realtor. This Fremont grad knows Lake Country Realty, whether you're selling or buying. In particular, if you're in the market for a lake home, folks. I know it's hard to believe with 12 inches of snow on the ground, but... Lake time is right around the corner here, and no better place to spend it than in Steuben County, and no better place to spend it but at your brand new home. And the only way to get that home is to call Travis Williamson at 316-5564. Lonsbury Garage. So while you buy that new host house, you have to have a nice car, and you got to have a well-tuned car on the garage underneath. That's why you call Lonsbury, 665-5165, because they offer quality service at a low, low price. A&J Alternators and Starters, they've got you covered there. 495-1655. Coach Reese takes care of you with alternator or starter rebuilding or repair, self-storage, or U-Haul rental. That's A&J Alternators and Starters in Fremont. Just west of the Moose on 120. Shot is up and good. Cole Clazier throwing a little bit of a tight D in there. Look for a pickpocket. And a steal. Fremont trying to do something in transition here. Shot and over the big man, but can't put the biscuit in the basket. And again, one thing that's given Central Noble an advantage here, a second chance shots. Fremont usually one and done thus far. Especially here early in the second half. Shot is good, 49-37. Yoder with the bucket, 3-12 left in the third quarter. And it's gonna be off of the foot of Yoder as Bontrager can't find any way to pass it to, just has to throw it off of the leg of Yoder. Cole Glazier comes out in the game. Nick Miller will be playing a little bit of catcher here very soon with a fantastic gun and a foul coming up foul on a season foul was on his first 49-37 2.59 left in the third quarter first shot is up and good Fremont just keeps hanging around. Beams Funeral Home celebrating life with dignity. 495, 2915, and Fremont Chiropractic for 21 bucks. Get your first consultation and adjustment. Make your appointment for Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Saturdays right in Fremont. 260-527-0370. Second shot is up and off the mark. Rebounded by the big dog, Logan Guard. From way off three, off the mark, and rebounded from Pentecost. Definitely has some hops here. Got a lot of play, Fremont players with lots of hops. And from three point, but off the mark, front of the rim there. And look at this, a one on zero. And the stuff by a season. And that gives him a 51-38 lead. Von Trigger about ready to come back in this ball game. Also, almost a steal there by Yoder. Three try, good! And it's 10 points again. Really the first quarter was Central Noble getting out to a big lead and pretty much the second and third quarters have been even. Fremont's gonna need a big quarter though, or more. And we're gonna have a foul against Yoder. 
Central Noble fans were hoping for a charge against a seizure by Cole Clazier. He's right in front of the official, and the official says no, but then right after that, a foul on Yoder. And coming back in will be Noah Christopher in just a moment, and a couple other ones here. Looks like another, looks like Aiden Drabeldis coming in in a moment as well. Aaron Pass maybe got a finger on it. it was a seizure. Nick Miller. Three try, Miller. No. Nice rebound from Bach. Oh, and a big steal there by a seizure who is hacked by Cole Clazier. Coach is all the way out in the middle of the floor. He is all the way out in the middle of the floor. You cannot be doing that. And the Fremont fans giving him a lot of business here. I can understand a little bit of heated discussion here, but when a coach runs out in the middle of the floor like that, how there's not a technical foul about that. I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that. So was there a timeout? It looks like there was a timeout here. Foul was on Paul Glacier his first intentional foul. And they're going to call an intentional foul against Cole Glazier. which I can understand, but how there's no foul on the coach that ran out all the way into the middle of the floor is beyond me. A little bit of jeering from a season, for a season there as he misses the first one. Makes the second. The only thing I can think of is that there was a there was a timeout called and the coach there was a timeout called it was honored and he ran out there but that didn't seem like that was the case a steal and then a steal back three way over the top and huge three from a season Central Noble Central Noble's going to call timeout. And that time, okay, so now they have a timeout, 55-41. They still have it marked 52 on the screen. Okay, so they're going to put the three up there. So 55-41 now. Certainly proud of our Fremont Eagles and their efforts here tonight against the number four team. Not only the number four team in the state, but also one class up. So Fremont has done a noble job against this, this squad, giving them a run for their money. And uh, it's a 14 point lead in favor of Central Noble. Still plenty of time here, but there's only nine minutes and two seconds left in the game, so Fremont's going to have to start scoring and keeping Central Noble from getting those second chance shots. Bontrager over to Cole Clazier. He's going to drive, and then Bontrager for three. Misses, and then nice rebound by Cole Clazier. Feed to, to Pentecost. Three shot. No good, and a rebound by guard. So, 19 seconds left. They're gonna play for the final shot of the quarter as Connor Lemon takes it into the corner. 
Good ball handling from Lemon off the bench. Three off the mark and rebounded by Bontrager. He's got three seconds. Long three. No. And that will be the end of the third. And Fremont trails by 14, 55 to 41. We're heading into the fourth and final frame. I want to remind everyone that you can like and subscribe. You won't miss any of the action. Make sure you do so. Also, don't forget, folks, you can share your comments, and we'll share them live on screen here. Love to see some folks from either side. Provide your comments on there. Love to see how you're cheering for your particular squad. Don't forget as well, folks, if you have a Roku box, Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, or one of a half dozen more different types of boxes out there, download the YouTube app for your particular module, and you can watch the game right on your big TV. Don't forget, folks, coming up Monday night, Fremont hosts Smith Academy with JV starting at 6 p.m. varsity after that, and then the big senior night as Fremont hosts Adams Central next Wednesday. That's also a 6 o'clock start for JV. Varsity tips off approximately 7.30. And Fremont certainly playing very well, playing very strong. This is the best time to be playing your best ball as we are heading towards sectionals right around the corner. Fremont will be traveling to the Bethany Christian sectional. And by the way, speaking of, the sectional draw is this Sunday on IHSAATV.org. That's IHSAATV.org. Three try, no good. Nice rebound and put back from Brace. That Brace kid, he's going places, folks. He is going places. Nice feed. And Bontrager comes up with it. Couple Fremont fingers in the mix to get the pass knocked away. Nice rebound, Brace again. And that lead is back down to 10. Central Noble's going to put a couple, three new players in. Maybe give a little bit of early quarter rest here. Feed from Lemon to Yoder. Yoder from about six feet out. No good. Rebound Yoder. Are they going to say it's on the line? And several Central Noble players are going to find a little bit of bench here for a moment, including Logan Guard. They're going to say it was off a Fremont player. Okay. 55-45. 6.55 left. And just like that, the biscuit's in the basket, and the lead is back to 12. Sawyer Yoder. Drive from Bach over to Pentecost. Takes the baseline. Tries to feed it. And going to the hoop. And we're going to have a jump. Nice aggressive play from both players. And they're going to say a jump ball. It's going to stay. Central Noble's ball here. Really tough play, I'll tell you. The Cesian and Cole Clazier have really been playing, fighting hard tonight. Yoder. Nice move off the glass for Schroeder. 59-45 now with 6.24 left in this ball game. Fremont still within striking distance, but every time they score, Central Noble scores, and at some point you're going to have to start to contract that lead and make some good plays on defense as well. Nice move from Bach. And a rebound and a block. Central Noble three ball off the mark. But again, another second chance here. And an errant pass as Drabelbus' ball goes out of bounds. Right past the honorable Ken Fillmore from KPC News is out here covering the game a little bit. Fire up chips. He's a Central Michigan Chippewa, folks, if you didn't know that. We're going to have a timeout. 
Fremont, 59-45 with 5.44 left. But in left in this ball game. A and J alternators and starters, whether it's alternator, starter, rebuilding or repairing, self-storage, or U-Haul rental. Check them out on 120. Give them a call, 495-1655. Coach Reese had, Reese had you covered, folks, including the brand new self-storage units. They are fantastic. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity. A Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride. 495-2915. Beams Funeral Home has been there for so many folks. And um, can also give them a call and set up an appointment and talk about you know, arrangements for the future. I know it's not a topic a lot of people like to talk about, but certainly a, a great way to, to uh, kind of set your, yourself and your family up down the road. Beams Funeral Home, 495-2915. And Fremont Chiropractic gets your first consultation plus adjustment for only $21. That's not each, folks. That's combined. 21 bucks. Call them at 260-527-0370. That's Fremont Chiropractic open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays right here in beautiful downtown Fremont. Coming up Monday, folks, the Fremont Eagles will be hosting Smith Academy at 6 p.m. for JV, 7.30 approximately for varsity. And senior night is Wednesday. Adam Central comes to town in the steel cage against the Eagles, 6 p.m. for JV and varsity, again, at about 7.30. Brace and powers his way in there once again. 5.24, and we're gonna have a foul on Brace. That's gonna be his third. The lead is still 12 for Central Noble. Bringing it up the floor is Andrews, slowly. And a nice steal. Look at this play. And a bucket. And the lead back to 10. And now Central Noble wants a timeout. Fremont starting to feel a little bit of mojo here. And again, folks, I'm not so sure Central Noble expected to come into Fremont and have themselves a handful. I think they expected to walk in this door and get a big W against the Eagles, and Fremont has absolutely been giving them everything they can handle tonight. But for Fremont, they're going to have to get a few more biscuits in the basket. They're going to have to make a few more plays on defense here in the last five minutes and eight seconds in order to come up victorious against the number four team. Central Noble coach is absolutely fired up trying to get his troops to say, hey man, we gotta keep our focus, don't lose it right now. This is not the time. This is not the time. Fremont, 49 points, a strong offensive output against this team. And this is really a good litmus test for where Fremont's heading into the future here. You got three more games coming up. The next two will be home also, and then their final regular season game will be on the road. And then comes tournament time, March Madness. And this is, as I said a moment ago, folks, this is the time if you're going to be playing your best ball, right now is the time to be playing your best ball. And regardless of how this game turns, turns out, it certainly tells the story about where your team is headed. 5 minutes left even. Andrews gets it over to Yoder. Big 3 try. Oh, big bucket there for a season again. And puts a little silence into Fremont's crowd there for a moment. 13 point lead. And another steal. And a nice pickpocket. Oh, what an interesting set of circumstances there. And there's going to be a charge called on Yoder. Yoder is third. Was it a charge or just a... Regardless, it's a foul on Central Noble. Fremont with the ball here. Pentecost triple teamed here. 
Gets it back from Bach. Back to Bach now. Tries to drive. Pentecost, nope, a little bit too far off the glass there. And we're going to have a block on Cole Clasier. I'm not so sure a season really had control of that at that last moment just before they hit, but it is what it is. And uh, Cole Clasier, all as always, is going to play as scrappy and as hard as possible. It's kind of hard to believe, frankly, it's only a second foul. Stutter step. Decision. And the bucket. 65-49, lead back up to 15 now. It's going the wrong direction for the Eagles. Cole Clasier, no, short. And now Central Noble with under four minutes left has the luxury of being able to just kind of take their time up the floor. It's really on Fremont's onus here to try to stop Central Noble, get the ball back. And there you go. Errant play gives Fremont another chance. 64-49. 3.39 left in the ball game here. Fremont now a little bit of urgency going to be needed right now. They're going to have to score fairly quickly on each possession with 3.30 to go. They're going to be a foul against Asesian. Box trying to find something. He gets it over to Brace. Over in the corner, there's a little scrum. Central Noble comes up with it. And now it's a little bit of keep away here, trying to milk and melt some of that clock down. Big three try off the mark. And Fremont will get it. They're going to call And somehow that's a jump ball. <laughs> I'm not so sure I uh, see that one. Fremont fans certainly disagree with the call, but Fremont will have the ball even after the jump ball. And even Ethan Box says, all right, fans, settle down. <laughs> Fremont's getting pretty excited. Of course, why wouldn't you? This is a big, big opponent here. And they're going to call a block, and Fremont will go to the line. And that's a third foul now on a season. As Pentecost will go to the line. 2.53 left in this ball game. 64-49. And Fremont has hit the half century mark. Reminder again, folks, coming up Monday, Fremont hosts Smith Academy at 6 o'clock for JV, 7.30 for varsity. And Wednesday is senior night. Adam Central comes to town against our Eagles, 6 p.m. JV, and again, 7.30 approximately for the varsity game. And their final game of the regular season will be next Friday. I believe that's at Bethany Christian, if my memory serves me right followed by the Bethany Christian sectional the next week. And we will know Sunday on IHSAATV.org who Fremont's playing at Bethany. Oh, what a feed. Oh, just can't get the ball there. No, no call. And I'll tell you what, Brace absolutely playing his heart out. Absolutely playing his heart out. He's going up against two and three players down low and still getting the ball, still getting the fight, still getting the rebound, still getting the shot off. Absolute baller is Logan Brace. Ooh, one left. As the sweet and sultry voice of His Royal Highness Benjamin Roeder announces. 64 53. 2.12 to go. 
Game is not over. Still a lot of time to play, but it's going to be up to the Eagles now to – they're going to have to make some big plays, get some big turnovers, and keep Central Noble from continuing to score. Really, if you, if you look at it, the box score – Tomorrow, you'll look and see that Central Noble put up a load of points in the first quarter. And frankly, quarters two, three, and four have been pretty much even the rest of the way. But Fremont's going to have to take advantage right here and right now. As the man in black, Coach Josh Stuckey, giving his troops some extra little advice here as we continue to move on here. 2-11 and counting left in this ball game. Lemon brings the ball up gingerly. And a big steal right away. Pentecost. And right there, it's a nine-point lead, and Central Noble is in danger of imploding here. If Fremont can keep... Catching them off guard like that. They're lulling themselves to sleep, frankly. Fremont may have to start thinking about fouling here. Oh, nice feed. And the bucket. Score back to 11. Drive by Bach. Oh, and it's going to be a foul called on a season. And Fremont will go to the line shooting one-on-one. -on -one. And I believe that's his fourth, and it is. Fouls on SGN, hits fourth. 66-55, 124 left in this ball game. Ethan Bach with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And it's good. Lead back to 10. A very uncomfortable position for the Cougars. Shot is up and good. And it's a nine point game back to single digits. Fremont three possessions away from tying this ball game, but they're gonna have to keep Central Noble from scoring. Nice feed and guard with the big dunk. And a big steal on the other way from Lemon. And now with 62 seconds left in this ball game, they can just pass it around. But they keep shooting. I'm not sure why they're doing that. And a big steal. And a season, no good. And no good again. Three try, Bontrager corner. No, off the mark. Comes up Cole Clazier. Three try again, short, no, oh, good. I thought it was short. <laughs> I'm not helping Fremont there with my calls. 30 seconds left, Fremont's gonna have to foul. And they do, Brace will foul. And that will be his fourth. 25.6 seconds left, Fremont down only by eight. What a great game for Fremont. Be nice to come up with the win, but they're going to have to do something pretty miraculous here at this moment, something Reggie Miller-esque. Eight-point lead, and they're going to call a foul on maybe it's either Pentecost or Bach here, and it will be on That's Pentecost. Pentecost is second. 14.7 left. Now, let's see here. Will the big man be able to hit his free throws here? Logan Guard. First one is up and good. Always a good thing when the big man can hit the free throws. And this one for the chance to put it back to double digit lead off the mark. Oh, but a rebound and no good. And that one's off of number four Schrader with 11.4 yet left. Central Noble opting for a little bit of a pressure situation here on D. 10.0 seconds left. A 
Nice job on the feint. Oh, look at this play. And one coming up. A free throw made would keep would put the lead down to six. And there will be a timeout. Uh, Central Noble will have the timeout. So really at this point, Fremont actually might be better served to miss the free throw, but that means you have to get the rebound, throw that ball out to three-point range quick, and get a bucket. That would put the game at 69-65. That still puts Fremont four points down. So it's going to be a real tough opportunity here for Fremont to get the W. But stranger things have happened, folks. Stranger things have happened. Absolutely great ball game. Glad everyone's tuned in tonight to watch the game here. Got a few comments here. Tammy Fugate, let's go white. And Cherie Zuccolato, hang in there, Eagles. Sixty-nine, sixty-two. Six point two seconds left. And it is off, but it's going to be rebounded by guard, and he will be fouled. And so it'll go to the other side now for some shots. So 4.0 seconds left. Guard hit one of his two foul shots a moment ago. And it's good. That will be his eighth point of the night. 70-62. And this one is off the mark. Fremont. And that will do it, folks. And a valiant effort from our Fremont Eagles tonight against the number four team in all the land. The final score, Central Noble, the number four team in the state, 70, Fremont, 62. And uh, as we said, folks, uh, Fremont knew it was going to be a tall order coming in tonight. And uh, yeah, Central Noble really looked like they were uh, kind of caught off guard, particularly in the second quarter when they were... Uh, Suddenly, Fremont brought the, cut the lead all the way down to three. Uh, despite the fact they'd opened up, that first quarter was all Central Noble. They really opened up a huge lead. I believe it was 28 points in the first quarter. And it was, uh, for the most part, fairly even the rest of the way. And uh, the Fremont Eagles come up short. But I will say this, folks. The Fremont Eagles absolutely ready for the last Week of the season heading into the sectionals. It was a great game tonight here inside the steel cage. Appreciate everybody tuning in, and uh, good luck to Central Noble as they continue the season. I know they're at 18-1. and one. They have big plans to go deep into the tournament, so wish them luck, and we certainly wish our Eagles luck as we continue just to finish up here, folks. Coming up on Monday night, Fremont hosts Smith Academy, 6 o'clock JV and approximately 7.30 for varsity. And senior night next Wednesday, folks, 6 p.m. for JV again, 7.30 for varsity against Adams Central. And we will leave it at that, folks, and we will close it out. Number four, Central Noble 70. Number, number five, let's say number five, Fremont. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> 62. Have a great night, everybody. Thank